So here at Destination Dallas, Plano, Texas, training with a man, Tank Moore, IFBB Pro. What's up, Internet? Big J with Big J's Extreme Fitness here with my man, Tank Moore, IFBB Pro. Check the wheels out on my brother, man. I could not have picked a better leg day or better workout day than legs to train with this monster. Now, uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. We do a little quick interview. Uh, and he talks a little bit about his uh, size and uh, his competitions and his future plans, etc. So stick around for that. Uh, as well as, just want to explain that I recorded a whole lot more for this video and included a lot more of the sets and the repetitions. Now, I've had uh, tons of emails and lots of messages uh, of you guys requesting that, so I'll go ahead and try that out. Leave comments in the uh, comment section below. Let me know if you guys lo uh, like the longer videos. So, I already messed up. I didn't even include my leg extension sets, so I'll go over a couple of things that I did. Uh, firstly, uh, Tank was on a strict schedule, so we didn't have time to foam roll or do any cardio uh, however, we did utilize the leg extensions and the curls for about 10 to 15 minutes, warming up our muscles, joints, and tendons uh, for this workout that we were getting ready for. Now, this is the first full leg workout that I've participated in since I've been on doctor's orders uh, to take it easy. Now, 70-something days ago, I got hit by a blood clot. If you guys haven't followed me for a while, uh, doctors told me not to touch the weights at all for a while, and then they released me to do about 10 or 15%. I got put back in the hospital for a couple of days because they started flaring up again. These old blood clots have been keeping me in and out of the gym, but I've been doing everything that the doctor told me, been getting all the tests, been taking all the medicines, and I'm on the road to recover, man, a whole lot faster than they initially told me, and I'm very grateful and thankful for you guys' love and support. Really appreciate that. I cannot express uh, enough that you guys mean the world to me. Thank you again. So uh, getting on to the workout. Uh, it's not a squat day. We're just warming up with the squats. It's actually a heavy hack day for me, and I've trained uh, legs three days a week for the last few years, and I started a three-day-a-week leg workout training session or segment or series uh, about three months ago, and I'm going to try to pick it back up, but real quick, this is the heavy hack day, uh, warming up with the extensions and the curls, starting on the squats just to get my legs warmed up, and just to go over with you real quick, and I didn't record, I usually grab the bar, do a set of 10, get stretched out just a little bit, jump back underneath the bar, especially if I've already done extensions and curls. I can do a bit of stretching. I don't want to static stretch until I've got my legs warmed up. And you guys know all that, but I wanted to reiterate, jump underneath the wheel, I did a set with five good pauses, got back underneath one wheel, did another set of five with pauses, jumped under two wheels, same thing, two sets of five with pauses. Now. I'm only doing five repetitions because I'm just kind of warming up as well as following, I don't know what you would call really a strength program, but I am still way weaker than I was before. So I'm not trying to do eight to 12 to 15 to 20 repetitions. I'm just trying to get my body back used to working out, feeling pretty good. You know, some days I can't even get my head off my pillow when I'm feeling bad. Uh, but other days like today on this leg day, I was feeling pretty doggone good, and I wanted to jump up to 315. Now, however heavy I was going to get on that hack squat uh, was still unbeknownst to me. I didn't really know, but check it out. Uh, we're doing the best we can to get the right camera angle so you guys can see the sides of the weights on the top of my head and the bottom of my feet. I wanted to get the full uh, image or the full, uh, I don't know what you would call the frame, uh, per se, and you can see that he actually moves the camera when I get in the sets. So it's kind of a lot harder to do when you're doing it by yourself, especially when you turn it around uh, that you cannot see the, the camera face. But a lot of times I'll do it and I'll turn it around and it kind of takes away the quality of the footage. So we got a lot of good footage today. Uh, thanks for being patient with us. And again, leave me comments to let me know, do you like the full footage? You want to see all the clips or you just like to see the highlights like I've done in the past? Uh, I do enjoy the voiceovers because it allows me to train without worrying about trying to explain. Uh, and here we go with Tank set. Strong dude, man. Uh, he probably could have done about 50 rips with this 315 with those huge wheels as he's walking around on. Uh, but he was following me. I was honored. I know he probably was twiddling his thumbs and wishing that he would hurry up and get done. But I promise you, brother, I'll be back and uh, get back into the 60, 70, and even 80% soon. I just got to wait for the doctor's orders. Now, real quick, I wanted to go over this. Number one, you don't see me wearing uh, knee wraps because if you look closely at my legs there, you'll see that I've got some sleeves underneath my sweatpants. Those are the Mark Bell Strong Sleeves, and I'm telling you, my life has been changed since I've been using those. The last 10 to 15 years, 
I've actually wrapped my knees underneath any more than 225 pounds. And it goes, you oh, know, yeah. to show you that, uh, sure. you know, number one, you can teach an old dog new tricks. You got to get out of the habits. You got to keep an open mind. And I was really apprehensive about using sleeves over knee wraps. And boy, I am sold. I was in the army for 10 years, walked 100 miles every few weeks and jumped out of airplanes every other month. And uh, there's a lot of torture. As a matter of fact, my knees hurt worse when I was in the military than all this lifting that I've done in the last 33 years. But I'm telling you, man, these sleeves are definitely a good sell, a good purchase on my behalf. So getting into uh, changing exercises, something that I want to talk about as well. Uh, you see that my legs were already warmed up with two sets of 315, pausing with no problem, but I started out with one wheel. Why did it do that? Uh, number one, the older I get, the smarter I have to train. I don't want to tear anything up. 30 years ago, I probably could have jumped underneath but 70 or 80% of my max weight, but just not going to be able to do that these days. Number two, if you want to maintain your body for a while, make sure that when you change exercises, although it's the same muscle group, you're attacking it in a different direction. So instead of squatting straight up and down or instead of pressing the legs upright, uh, we're leaning back and we're utilizing a lot of different angles on the lateralis medialis and the quads and the hamstrings and the glutes and the low back and the core so you start out a little bit lighter and do your repetitions with a controlled manner and make sure that your body is ready for that heavy duty stuff so even if you just have to do two to three repetitions do so don't injure yourself now i wanted to tell you this you see that i raised my toes up a couple of times that is incorrect you got to make sure and i want to continue to drive this in your guys head yeah that you keep a good steady platform good. while you're doing any exercise, especially on these hacks. It's real easy to come up on your heels, but you don't want to hyperextend your knees. You don't want to tear anything up, the ACL, the MCL, the LCL. Those yep. tendons and joints get taxed if you use or lose that platform. Keep your back up against that pad. Yep. Keep your head back. Uh, you know, Keep your shoulders square, and you see me get my shoulders all ground up in there. This is the first heavy-duty set. I got six wheels on each side. And here we go. We're rocking and rolling. I'll let you guys enjoy these next couple of sets with my man Tank and myself. Check it out. go a little grinder there got a little lightheaded that might have been a little more than i was supposed to be doing i was kind of ego lifting but i was controlling it there was no problem in the weight but the doctor did tell me man do not hold your breath too long do not strain too much do not get lightheaded and that's exactly what i did as dumb as i am <laughs> i go back for another set but check out my man tank set Rock and roll, good set. He's a little bit shorter, I had to push it up a little bit. Now here's my second set, and I kept saying to myself, man, be easy, don't do, you know, get some speed reps in, just get your second set in, because I always like to do two sets of my heavy working load. But, you know, again, I felt like I could do this. I got in a good groove. I paused that first one, and then I was ready for my speed sets. And again, check those knees out, and you see those sleeves up underneath there. I would definitely wrap my knees if I was any heavier than three wheels on this set. But uh, yeah, getting crazy. I believe I got nine or 10 repetitions, but boy, that head's turning red as a beat. Looked like it's about to explode, gonna blow a head gasket. <laughs> but uh, you know, you just gotta be smart. I did get a little bit lightheaded. I wanted to get that one more. That's what I'm famous for. And uh, you'll see, I wanted to leave the camera rolling. Look at me, trying to catch my breath. Got a little fist bump there at the end. And yeah, we can mark that down as a stupid set. <laughs> I did not should not and will not ever push myself like that until I'm told that I can. Matter of fact, I got an appointment today. I'm checking everything out. Doctors are telling me I'm getting way, way better, but I still got problems, man. It's like, you know, if you got a head gasket leaking on a car, you don't want to boost that turbo up too much because you're going to lift those things up, pulling the studs out, and I just don't want to do that, man. Got to be smarter. Just got to be smarter, man. I don't know what else to say. Sorry, guys. I know that I'm not leading by example 100%, but I'm definitely okay. This is about three days ago, and, um, you know, I've actually trained again. And like I say, 
I'm actually leaving town today. I want to get this video posted for you guys. Great set by my man Tank. Uh, finishing up with, we go ahead and load these plates or get rid of these plates and uh, move on to the extensions and curls. But like I, I was saying earlier, I'm going out of town for the next week and I believe I'm going to be in Georgia. Uh, I know I'm going to be in Georgia, but I don't know what gym I'm going to be at. I'll announce that on my social media. Stay tuned for that. I'll go to one of those, I think it's the LA Fit that I worked out at last year when I was there. But taking a week off and trying to get away uh, from the rat race for a little bit and just take some time off. My birthday's today and I'm gonna have me a couple of cold beers, a couple of steaks, a little time in the fresh air in the mountains. Moving on to uh, the last part of this exercise. Uh, didn't wanna do any calves to begin with because I wanted to keep those stabilizers ready to rock and roll on the squats and the hacks. Uh, and it worked really good. They didn't get tight, they didn't get sore, they didn't get weak. Uh, they were fresh for this after hack workout. And let me tell you something, man. If you've ever trained at Destination Dallas and you've been on this calf machine, you know what I'm saying when I'm telling you this is a humbling calf machine. That two wheels feels like three doggone wheels, man. But anyway, getting to the calf exercise, we went ahead and did two exercises. Uh, we did three sets of the two wheels, which was heavier. Uh, you'll see us trying to pause for about eight to 10 reps. I go ahead and knock out some speed reps at the end of one of the sets, and I knock out speed reps at the first, and then knock out some pause reps at the end. We moved on to the standing calf. I was being lazy sitting on my butt right beside the machine, and that was uh, a lighter set that we did. We moved up to a little bit more weight for our two working sets. And you know, you, you, you got different forms that you can utilize on this exercise. You see I'm going kind of fast. A lot of times I'll squeeze at the top just for a second. Uh, even more times I'll get down to the bottom with a pause and then explode and come back down faster. Just know to keep your mind open on short reps, pause reps, explosive reps, speed reps, you know, squeezing at the top for a long time, going really slow on the way down uh, and change it up guys. If you see that your calves aren't growing, which to me has been the hardest muscle to grow and to keep and to maintain and to regrow again, because I'm really am trying hard to get some of this muscle back uh, that I've lost over the last few years. Uh, Cause slowing down in life, uh, changing things up, really focusing on promoting my supplement, really focusing on, you know, doing meet and greets, hanging out with you guys, got FitCon coming up. Uh, so I really am wanting to make sure that I don't dwindle down and become that just, you know, quote unquote guy behind the scenes that, yeah, he's promoting things. I want to be the guy that is out front hanging out with you guys, training with you guys, shaking hands, taking pictures, stuff like that. I love being part of you guys' lives. So anyway, finishing up, we went ahead and did some heavy leg extensions. Although we started at the first of the exercise, the first of the workout, I like to finish up with good sets, heavy duty. 10 good pauses, and I know I didn't pause very long, but I want to get those uh, sets in there at the end, and we, of course, we went to the curls and the line curls as well. Now, I want to go over what's in the description box. I don't know if you guys go down there or not, but obviously there's going to be some FitCon information. I'm going to post uh, Tank's information. I'll post this gym's information, and for those of you that are interested in picking up the Big J's Intensity Pre-Workout and the Big J's Intra Intensity Branch Chain Amino Acids, I've actually got uh, some of the distributors as well as some of the stores, and lo local Texas stores as well, that carry that product. Now, there's several other stores that carry it around the United States that actually don't have social media. I'm trying to get them posted and get them ready to rock and roll to show you guys where they're at as well. And once that is posted and once they're ready to uh, get that information, I'll put that in there as well. So please, again, if you're looking for my products, go down to the description box and there's a local store near you you can pick them up at. And again, if you can't pick it up at a store, you can definitely go to a distributor, order it online. Finishing up with the lying leg curls here, man. Uh, you'll see that I'm pulling it up. Probably could get a little bit farther up. Uh, still got those sleeves on. I ended up having to take the sleeves off at the last for me to get better form or, or get more range of motion. Uh, but again, remember, there's lots of exercises that you can change the rep scheme, you can change the form, you can change the speed, and you can get different kinds of results, guys. You can really dry out those muscles and get more definition by squeezing a certain way you can build more mass uh, by you know changing the angle uh, you can get more strength by dropping the you know repetitions and adding more weight so again 
keep a very open mind, guys. When you see somebody in the gym doing it differently than you, <laughs> try not to judge. Oh, we were just messing around here. There's a little product placement there. Try not to judge. Instead, you know, try to ask questions. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. Why are you doing it that way? What is it helping you? Bam, I wanted to do one more. <laughs> It helped me get a little bit more with that pre-workout there. Again, showing you guys the footage of the entire workout. Leg extensions, leg curls, squats, hack squats, back to calves, back to some heavier extensions and hamstring curls. And we are just about done. <laughs> We're actually delirious. We've been training for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. It had one more heavy duty set to do. And I believe we actually did two of these heavier duty sets, but I am taxed. This is three days later. And I'm still limping around, man. Hard to squat down. Look at the thumpered background. Got him all taped up. Lots of people in this video. Uh, here we go. Here's the interview. Uh, Enjoy. 2014. 2014. Are you getting ready for anything? Uh, yeah, I'm getting ready for the uh, Roping Games, uh, June, uh, June 17th and 18th this year. Right on here? Yes, sir, in Dallas. Right, in Dallas, okay. And I know people are going to want to know what your stats are. How tall are you? How much you weigh in the offseason? What do you compete at? All that good stuff. All right, 5'5 five, five and 3 quarters. 5'5 five, five and 3 <laughs> Don't forget the 3 quarters because I'm 5'9 and 3 quarters. You got to right. have the 3 quarters. Oh, yeah. Right now, I'm pushing about 237. 237. Get on stage about 212. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's your uh, 212. Yeah. yeah, that's pro your pro debut. debut. Yes, sir. And how long have you been working out? Uh, since I was 15. And, and can we tell the people how old you are? I'll be 40 in April. 40 years old, man. Look at this guy. Looking <laughs> amazing. It just goes to show you that age is only a number now. Of course, you got to train smart. You, you do. Yes. Oh, yes. You cannot go For out sure. there and just try to kill it every workout with max repetitions because you're a bodybuilder. Yes. You have a powerlifting background or no? No, sir. Just a strong dude. IFBB Pro, information in the description box. Look out for this man this coming year. He's gonna oh, yeah. be dangerous. <laughs> he and I are gonna be doing some more workouts. We actually did a back workout a couple of weeks ago. I haven't posted it yet, yeah, but stay tuned for that too. Yeah, Metroflex Jim Tyler. Oh yeah. Not Tyler, uh, Fort Worth. Fort Worth, yeah. Oh, yeah. But uh, stay tuned, man. Once again, don't forget to check the description box. You got destination, FitCon, tanks, my product information, and all kinds of other cool stuff down there. Until next time, 10 City Rules, train hardcore. And we'll see you next video.